Now the blessed moment has come, the moment of true communion. We kneel before our Lord Jesus Christ to receive him sacramentally. And how appropriately do we kneel before him, kneeling as St. Peter knelt before him on the boat and said, Lord, depart from me, I am a sinful man. We kneel before him as Magdalene did the morning of the resurrection or when she dried our Lord's feet with her hair and anointed them with her tears. We kneel before him as the three holy kings knelt before him when he was still a baby in the stable of Bethlehem, kneeling down, offering their gifts and offering him their heart. Truly, we kneel before him If it were possible, if it were physically and practically possible, how much more befitting it would be for us to lie before him, completely prostrate on the ground. That would be the only more appropriate posture than kneeling before him. To lie flat out on the ground as the nun on the day of her espousals, as the priest on the day of his sacramental ordination, or even as the bride on the marital bed, on the day of her wedding. But since such a posture would be impractical, let us at least kneel before him in humble adoration. At the moment of communion, as the priest approaches you, you will need to raise your head slightly, to extend your tongue on your lower lip with your eyes closed. Allow him to place your blessed Lord upon your tongue. Could there be any other way than this? To be fed as a little child. Indeed, our Lord had said, unless you become like a little child, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Let him kiss me with kisses of his mouth. These are the words of the spouse to her bridegroom in the Canticle of Canticles in sacred scripture. Words always applied by the saints to the moment of Holy Communion. Let him kiss me with kisses of his mouth. Here is the divine spouse of your soul. Spouse because you are in the state of grace. Spouse because you belong to him through baptism. Spouse because he wishes to be wedded with you for all eternity as a member of his bride, the church. So this act of Holy Communion expresses your spousal relationship with your divine Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So let him kiss you with the kiss of the mouth. Let him kiss you with the kiss of Holy Communion. A kiss to make reparation for the kisses of all those Judases receiving our Lord in coldness. A kiss more like that of Magdalene as she kissed his feet or like St. Joseph as he held the baby Jesus in his hands, or indeed as a blessed mother herself as she kissed the sacred form on that first Good Friday. All too often the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Not today, not in this communion. In this communion our Lord finds love. The deer drinks from the running streams. The sparrow places the food into the mouth of its little one. The baby drinks at the breast of its mother. All of these scriptural images were but types of this moment of Holy Communion when the priest places the Blessed Sacrament upon your tongue. After a moment of conscious adoration, you'll need to rise and return back to your place, still with your eyes downcast. You will reach your place. You will ignore everything around you. You will kneel down, not upon a soft cushion, but upon the ground. Then you will place your face in your hands and you will begin the time of thanksgiving.